Hey guys, this is Neil Gordon. I am a content specialist who helps various companies to solve their content related problems and of course improve the efficacy of their company. And if you're here watching this video, you are curious about this one trick that will apparently engage your employees better than any corporate retreat ever will. So what is this one trick? All right, so the question, first question we need to ask ourselves is why is employee engagement so important? Why is it even worth it for you to watch a video on this? All right, well, one statistic teaches us that happy employees are 12% more productive than the unhappy ones. So on one level, we might think that as employers, the job is to hire somebody, tell them what to do, then have them do it, and then they go home, collect their paycheck, done, right? Well, this statistic suggests otherwise, that if they are happier, they are going to be more productive, which of course leads to greater profitability for everyone. And of course, unhappy employees are more likely to leave their job and seek employment elsewhere. If you have poor retention, then you're going to have low cost efficiency. Replacing an employee can cost tens of thousands of dollars. Right? So engaging an employee and making it more about than just them showing up, doing their work and collecting a paycheck means that the more engaged they are, the more successful the company will be. But this is not a secret. This is not a secret at all. $700 million is spent every year on employee engagement. And what's more, even more so than engagement, recognizing employees is an even bigger business. $46 billion is spent on employee engagement recognition. But does the popularity of recognizing and engaging employees mean that it needs to be a cost prohibitive endeavor as well? What if there was an efficient and inexpensive way to do all of this? What are we doing now to engage employees, to recognize them, to somehow build a viable team? Retreats are an amazing solution, right? They go, the employee feels taken care of, they feel connected with their coworkers and all of that. But they also can be rather costly. A day retreat could cost anywhere 55 to $70 per person per day, possibly even more. And of course, overnight retreats are even more expensive, could be over $300 per person per day, right? Catered lunches are another way that you might recognize and engage your employees and they also are over in 30 minutes or an hour or whatever it is. It's a nice thing. It's not a bad thing to feed your employees something nice, but it doesn't last very long. And then, of course, there are planned activities that don't necessarily cost you money to do, but it costs you a tremendous amount of time to implement these activities, these ideas that, of course, drains the resources of your department or your company. All right. Every solution here has potential, and I absolutely applaud the companies that do this, but is it the best solution? What is the one solution? What is this one trick that this video is going to teach you about? And to answer that question, I'd like to tell you the story of my client, Mark. This happy and enthusiastic looking man works for an HR department at a software company based out of the Bay Area. And what he wanted to do was he wanted to introduce the HR department to the company in a creative and exciting way. That's why he originally got in touch with me. He was going to send out an HR newsletter and he wanted to introduce them in a way that wasn't typical, right? He thought he would just do a fun thing that people would enjoy. That was the original reason he reached out to me, but he discovered something else along the way when we implemented this solution, this one trick, okay? He was very generous with his testimonial about our experience, and I'd like to show you an excerpt, not the entire testimonial, just an excerpt. The surprising part of the project was that equally fun to enjoying its output was the engaging and fun process we went through as an internal team to answer Neil's fact-finding questions about our interests and personalities. It resulted in lots of laughter and connections across the team even before the output was produced. So look at what's happening here. We have fun. We have laughter. We have connections. We have a team. All of these interesting things are happening from this one solution. So what is it? Well, on the left is a picture of Mark. And on the right is the cartoon likeness of Mark. This cartoon likeness is put on an image 
along with all of his other co-workers in the HR department. Indeed, this is his whole HR department, and as you can see, each one of them has very individual quirks or interests portrayed in relation to their personalities in their presence in the cartoon. The girl in the upper left-hand corner has a little rabbit hanging out of her pouch because she's apparently obsessed with her rabbit. The man up in the top center is dressed up like the Fighting Irish because he's a huge Notre Dame fan. And everyone else here, of course, has their own interest quirk or something else. And so when Mark's team saw this cartoon, they lit up and they were pointing fingers and all of that. And he realized what he had. A, he realized that he had engaged his employees through the fact-finding questions that I asked them. He realized he had recognized his employees because of what it took to show this cartoon to them. When they saw themselves portrayed because their employer thought it was important enough to do so, they felt recognized. And of course, after he saw the cartoon, he and his boss decided to run a contest. He did a team building exercise by running a contest by who could guess who was who and receive a prize, of course, for winning the contest. So all these different things happen from this one solution this one trick. All right. And they're not the only ones. A number of clients have hired me to create their group or their team or whoever it was to show how much each individual meant in relation to the team as a whole. All right. So the question then becomes, why is this such a great solution? And so it costs less than retreats. It could cost as little as $40 a person to do this. It lasts longer than a lunch, in other words, forever. When I drew a cartoon for my former co-workers back in my corporate days, I drew a cartoon of everybody, and they were still talking about it years later. It lasts forever. And, of course, it's much less time-consuming than planning your own activities, because other than the fact-finding, which the employees will have fun with doing, this will only require maybe one to two hours of your time to provide feedback, to put around ideas if necessary, and all of that. But most of the time is, of course, spent by me providing this service for you. So that might all sound great, but why would a cartoon be such an effective way to engage employees, recognize them, to build team? I'd like to point to a TED Talk that's actually very popular by a man named Dan Pink. He talks about the puzzle of motivation. What is it that motivates employees? And toward the end of the talk, he says, the secret to high performance isn't rewards and punishments, but that unseen intrinsic drive, the drive to do things for their own sake, the drive to do things because they matter. Okay, to do things because they matter. My own belief is by providing each employee with an opportunity to be celebrated by their employer in a way that is as individual as they are, they will be sent the message that they matter. Then they will be engaged. So on one hand, you have that your work matters, just like Dan Pink is talking about. And here we have a way to show that not only does each employee's work matter, but they matter as people. And then they will be more engaged. Okay, so the question is what's next? This might all sound great, but I want you to experience firsthand what it's like to have a cartoon likeness drawn of you. Because each of us is going to have our own thing. And so when you reach out to me, the first step is going to be for you to fill out a form. And on that form, I'm gonna ask you to show me either your LinkedIn page or your Twitter profile or whatever it is. And so then when I see that, I can draw a free cartoon of you so you could see what it's like. So you can do that by going to neilcanhelp.com forward slash cartoon or scroll to the bottom of this page and click on the link that says yup yup sign me up. When you do that you'll be able to fill out the form really quickly just take you a minute or two and then we can go from there. Sound good? All right I look forward to hearing from you and I can't wait to see what you look like when I draw you in cartoon form. Take care.